guys Angel here welcome to another episode of let's talk about that podcast today i have another guest with me he is an ace member and he actually was just on the theme park ert podcast a couple weeks ago this is luke reynolds thank you so much for being on man how have you been good thanks for having me Mm -hmm. how is like the pouring team and like treating you so far how have you been during this whole time uh honestly my so i'm in the military so i my oh, okay. job hasn't really changed <laughs> very much at all i've been We're, able to telework a couple days oh, okay but but no i mean the <laughs> are you doing uh i know a couple people that are in military are you doing like navy or what like military the actual navy. marines okay <laughs> navy like everyone else in, in virginia <laughs> i know someone who's in alaska right now and it's like everyone else is like just like in this quarantine like chilling they're like working their butt off in the freezing cold so yeah Mm-hmm. So, so you know, I honestly, I, I love my job. If I, if I didn't love roller coasters so much, I would, I would be, be in it for life. But probably. when did you start uh, in the military? Like, when did you first start it? Um, about so I, I, I went straight into the military right out of college. Oh wow! Um, okay. And so right now I'm in the what's it's called the Civil Engineer Corps. So quick okay. plug for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the <recruiter happened> to <laughs> me. No, it's 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 honestly really cool. Mm-hmm. Um. You, people usually associate like you know navy with war yeah. fighting and stuff but but in the civil engineering corps you're pretty much building stuff oh wow whether it's like public works mm-hmm. or or i you mean know, did you get your degree in that or what uh, i got my degree in mechanical engineering okay nice so nice uh, did now you do- we're not doing mm-hmm. more civil type stuff but <laughs> it's, all, it's all in the same right it's still engineering <laughs> regardless so. so but yeah no it's it's very it's a very uh rewarding job and the people mm-hmm. are People are pretty awesome too. Um, actually, to, to bring this back to roller coasters, mm-hmm. I was saying <laughs> um, one, of, one of my favorite experiences ever in the military is one of my bosses. Oh wow! Uh, this captain found out. He was like, he found out about my roller coaster. <laughs> he comes to my, he comes to where I sit one day, and he's like, Luke, you're gonna, your new job is to be our command STEM coordinator. Oh you, my! You're goodness. gonna build these roller coasters for us <laughs> so, and so every year well not now due to the coronavirus but every mm-hmm. year i i build like a smaller model and then mm-hmm. i take it around to different events at different bases in the area nice. and just kind of show a different aspect of, of either the military or like how we how we do some nice. calculations for different things so Man. so it's really fun talk talk to thousands and thousands of elementary school kids about well math you're just making the enthusiast world bigger (laughs) i mean i see that thing in the background tell us what that is i don't know if they can even see the whole thing in the shot (laughs) (laughs) let me angle it up it goes yeah oh my gosh so this is a it's my star wars roller coaster i feel like i feel like the best comparison is like hagrid's roller coaster okay islands adventure except Mm -hmm. star wars themed it has it has four trains Wow. It has, it has a, a elevator. It starts with, then it has a launch, and then it has a vertical lift. Oh tip. my gosh! And that's why it's taken so long to finish. Um, I mean, how long? When did you start that? I started about two years ago. What? But, but to be honest, I've done like I've done like five roller coasters in the middle of it because okay. I started working on this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know I saw in the other podcast with uh, Theme Park ERT, uh, that one, I don't, I thought that's what you were talking about you were working on. Is that, is you still working on that one too? Yeah, I'm still working on oh that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so, you know, this one, this one's the one that just takes yeah. forever and ever just because of all the little theming elements have to work perfectly. I don't know if you see that. that oh, yeah, right yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where it starts. Boba Fett comes down out of that box. <laughs> and says something to the train and then oh really my gosh you're making it like an actual model <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, i mean there's yeah, do you have a name for it yet or no yeah yeah it's called okay. a rogue rogue recon a star rogue Wars recon <laughs> okay nice so. all right well how did you get into coasters actually like i wanted to ask that before but what uh how'd you get into them um i'd say well when i was a bit i was always fascinated with those I, well, not even Lego, Duplo, Duplo train. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, well, growing up, it was me and my mom. And the way our apartment was laid out, mm-hmm. like it was her room, and then there was my room, and then there was a closet that connected them. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I would have the Duplo trains go through into my mom, <laughs> through the closet, to my room, out to the living room and back. And I just leave it there. <laughs> my mom let me. 
So, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that's how I got started. And then I graduated to Blago Trains. And then <laughs> somewhere, somewhere along the line, I got fascinated with roller coasters, but I was yeah. terrified of them. Really? Um, wow. Yeah, I was, I was absolutely terrified. I remember, I remember one day I went to Legoland. Oh, uh, nice. San Diego. So I went to Legoland, California, and I saw the dragon, and it was super cool. Um, but then, but I didn't want to ride it. So I told my mom, you go ride it, and I'll watch you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sat there and watched it all day. You go ride it. I'm just watch you ride. Have fun. So, uh, so, yeah, I've always been fascinated with them. I think that's around the time when, when like the original Connects roller coaster came mm-hmm. out. It was this orange thing. It had a little yeah. like cart, and I don't know if you've seen it, but it has like I think I've seen it. Yeah, and it does a, a weird mm-hmm. like helix thing. Yep. And I got that, and and played with that for a little bit, and wow. then shortly after, that's when the Screaming Serpent came out, which was. At, at once I got that, the rest was history. <laughs> best, best toy ever created. How much do you think you spent in Connects now? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely in the thousands. I was about but, to say, but, yeah. But also, I would say, I would say, it's easy for people for birthdays for me and Christmas. Like, if you get right. me, oh, I know what I'm getting into. Already, <laughs> even though I already have all the Connects in the world, I always use more. Yeah, so, I mean, you so just make a giant coaster much. like you are now, so I don't blame you. You yeah. should do, I was going to say, like, you should make the track switch colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've thought about certain, so this, this only comes in certain, you know, the yeah. standard colors, but mm-hmm. I've thought about getting some cool, some cool paint schemes in the future. Yeah, that looks super cool. Like, I've always loved the connects. I remember when I got mine, it's like, I kind of destroyed it now, um, but it took forever to build, and I had no idea that they took that long to really build. Like, I was just used to building Legos and whatnot, and I was like, what the world is this? <laughs> but, like, how did you get into, like, the Ace thing? Like, how did that all start for you? Um, well, I think I would say I got into Ace at two different points in my life. Mm-hmm. First, when I was really little um, in California, I joined for a year. Oh, okay. And they had, I remember specifically going to an event at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, that okay. Was, that was all I did with Ace. Um, oh. Back then, back then, I think Theme Park Review was the, the cool new mm-hmm. thing. They were, they were the cool new kids on the block. And they <laughs> back when I think Robin and Alyssa lived over by Magic yeah. Mountain. And so they were hosting they were hosting a lot more events. And the mm-hmm. events had a lot more people my age. Oh, okay. Because um, Ace tends to skew more old. <laughs> I think now that now I've seen, I've seen a lot more younger people back then. I was then, about to say now it's kind of almost switched. Like you see, they'll like post the blog and whatnot with like all these older people. I'm like, who are these people? And like usually it's just a bunch of new people now. So. Yeah. So, so anyway, back then, I don't think I, I really took to Ace as much. Mm-hmm. Um, but then coming back, so then obviously life happened. I joined, I went to college, joined the military, kind of put the whole roller coaster thing on hold. Um, but then for the past four years, I've been, I've had a lot more, I've been on shore duty. So I've had a lot more time yeah. on my hands um to to pursue the, these types of hobbies and that's when i i'm like oh and i'm in <laughs> so so most people in the navy hate getting stationed at norfolk <laughs> traffic and everything like it they, everyone's like oh it sucks so bad i hate yeah. it but <laughs> but the first thing in my mind was when i got mars like right bush gardens bush gardens <laughs> and kings of minute i've uh-huh. never been to either once so i was so excited wow um, so, so I obviously I wanted to go to those parks and I wanted to go to those special events and I got the perfect time to, to see, to see what ACE is like now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I joined, uh, I joined again and I think the one of the first events I went to actually wasn't even here. It was oh, wow. a dollar city. Um, oh, right, time wow. traveler open. Nice. And that was one of the most incredible events I've ever been to. Man. Um, just just they rolled out obviously Hershen does, yeah. does some amazing things they're really hospitable but but that combined with the people at ace were very welcoming and very nice and i i made so many friends there just mm-hmm. in that first night i'm like wow this is this is amazing <laughs> so, so yeah I've, <laughs> and since since that event i've gotten a lot more involved in the local chapter um just by volunteering mm-hmm. um I, I don't know if you know elizabeth ringus um, yeah yeah um, She's the local, yeah. the regional coordinator, but I forget what her, what her national position is. Um, I don't, I remember she was at the uh, ACE event when I went to the one for Kings Dominion. I don't know if you were at that one, but they, uh, it was like last year uh, for like, I forget uh, what no, it's I called. Wasn't, I wasn't at this last okay. time. Okay. 
but but yeah so she she asked one day um the, if if they needed if there were any videographers who would mm -hmm. be able to help and i i was like sure <laughs> right <laughs> I'll do it. I, I like i like filming stuff and it's a pretty cool opportunity to practice mm -hmm. um just getting better at it so i volunteered and started the youtube channel <laughs> and, and uh yeah it it, it it paid off. Right. <laughs> you, I don't when you volunteer, you start getting invited to stuff. Like mm -hmm. some media days or construction tours, they, they need someone to take pictures. Or take pictures. So, so I, <laughs> That's a I smart idea. Happy. Like, I didn't even realize. Like, I, once you start talking about it, I was like, oh, that makes sense now how you start getting all these events. So, yeah. Well, yeah and work. honestly, now that I'm, <laughs> I'm a, I have money now, so I can go to IAP and do all these other mm -hmm. fun things. Um. What would you say is your most anticipated coaster for this year that were, were that were supposed to release uh, the new ones? What would you say your most anticipated is? Uh, I well, <laughs> I know I'm supposed to say Pantheon because <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> right. No, I would say if it if it opens, I would say it would be Fly. Fly. I, oh, okay. I've been planning a trip to Germany for like two years, and it's always contingent on Fly opening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and literally, so the minute coronavirus goes away and and Fantasia Land <laughs> says it's going to be open for sure, <laughs> that determines <laughs> that determines my next international trip. So, I would say for that sure. it's a brand new. It's a brand new coaster type in a park that just yeah. things like nobody else. And yeah, I was gonna say the. Uh, you're probably the first person that said finally, like none of the U.S. coasters. Like I totally forgot about Fly. But you're right. They just, it's always delayed. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's almost, it feels like flying turns or one of these <laughs> crazy coasters. It's never going to open. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, definitely fly. Just for, you know, I'm, I'm a more theme, theme oriented person. Mm -hmm. So that combined with the new technology is, is really fascinating to me. What's like probably your top three parks that you've been to so far? Uh, top three parks that I've been to. Mm-hmm. Uh, in no or particular order, I think Hot Prairie Farm is definitely up there. Oh, yeah. Because it takes, like, the vibe of, like, the Hershen Parks. Yeah. But with, but right in the middle of L.A. <laughs> or not in the middle of L.A., but in that area. Right, yeah. And, and, um, honestly, yeah, probably, probably Knott's Prairie Farm, Dollywood, and Silver Dollar City are my favorite three. Okay, that's a like, solid you, three. You can kind of tell the vibe. Yeah, I was going to say theming. You really do like the theming scene. <laughs> I, but, um... I love the thrill aspect. I just wish more amusement parks would get the theming part right because then it would just be perfect. <laughs> so Yeah. All right. So what would you say is probably like overall the best experience you've had at a park? Uh, best experience. At mm -hmm. a park. Uh, I would probably go back to that. Oh, okay. That AC Venta, Silver Dollar City. Um, oh, wow. So, and, and, I guess from this, from we got there, it started like on a Friday evening, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they took us in, did their normal, like the higher ups at the park, give their little yeah. speak about their new rides and everything. Mm -hmm. But when we came out, they had all their food stands. Oh, like, man. It had set up little booths all around that new plaza area where time travel. Wow. Went. So they had, they had like from, from like actual dinner foods to like their ice cream oh my and their, gosh. Like, and all this stuff and they were all in these little like bite size like little bowls. oh wow and then there was ERT on time traveler and ERT <laughs> on Thunderation and so you'd like grab like a little a little tiny bite of this thing <laughs> go ride time traveler come off get another tiny bite of that Man. And you just like eat so much of this and all the food was amazing <laughs> and you just got ERT on the roller coasters ERT on all the food which is all free and so that that's probably my and then obviously they, they kept following that up the next day. Right. We got like whatever their equivalent is of like a fast lane type system. <laughs> we got those, which is which is great because it was a super Man. good day. But That's yeah, no, crazy. They, they definitely rolled out the red carpet and made me a, a lifelong Hershen fan. <laughs> <laughs> Just from that. Yeah, I've always wanted to visit like Dollywood and Silver Dollar City. Like I wanted to try to get to Dollywood this year. Uh, if I go down to Carowinds, I'll definitely try to check them out because I really wanted to ride Lightning Rod. Yeah. And I know Silver Dollar City, like you said, Tom Trower, that was a huge investment for their park. So they really went all out for like the stuff they did for it. You talked about like your favorite theme park and like a music or overall experience. What would you say the weirdest or if you have one, what's your weirdest or worst experience? Uh, my worst experience. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm going to give you a politically correct answer. No, I, I honestly enjoy all these parks. Um, and even like, I think I was prone to dislike Six Flags America before mm -hmm. I got there. But then through AIDS, like you hear Six Flags America has some of the most passionate leadership I have ever seen. Yeah. And, and so I can't even, I can't even fault them. They're awesome. <laughs> um, and they try to do the best with, with whatever. With whatever thing. Yeah. Um, but no, no, I, I'd say my worst yeah. experience with parks is always when I'm with people who aren't happy there. Oh, okay. So like, so like if I'm with some close friends and I'm, I'm super excited because I love roller coasters <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm, I want to go home. It's <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, I want to ride more roller coasters. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Like, I'm tired of this, man. So yeah, I think I think that's the that's my and it doesn't it could be you could be at Disneyland or wow. you could be at the best park ever with no lines and and being there with someone who doesn't want to be there always always puts a damper on it more than more that's than true. Parks. I knew for like that's why I was just like uh, for kid or parents when you guys bring your kids to amusement parks and they're ready to go home, it's like just bring them when they're at an appropriate age because then they can really experience the park and whatnot. So yeah. Okay, so do you have any other interests besides like roller coasters and whatnot? Like, what else do you like to do? So I like to run. Oh, okay. Um, so, and actually, that that's also in the AC YouTube channel. <laughs> Not even mine. <laughs> so, like, when uh, Bush Gardens does a run every Christmas. Yeah. And so, so I, I've done that on film this last year for Bush Gardens. But no, I, I do like a, a run. I was in cross country growing up. Um, other than that, I'm a huge TV watcher and movie oh, okay. watcher. So that's that's the one thing other than roller coasters that I just end up going to the movies. Yeah. Um, what would you say is over? Like, what's your top five movies? that you've ever watched top five movies um hmm. <laughs> that's hard there's so many movies I yeah like it's whatever i'm in the mood for but no <laughs> i think i like <laughs> speed racers definitely in there oh, okay whoa that's different like, same people who do the matrix and everything but for mm -hmm. some reason speed racer clicked way more to me than all <laughs> of those movies um what other movies were that? That's crazy. I can't. TV, TV shows I can talk about more. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's just do TV shows. Okay. <laughs> top three TV shows. Top three TV shows. Uh, Friday Night Lights. Okay. Um, Pushing Daisies. Pushing? What is that? What? <laughs> we heard of that? One of the greatest shows ever. It got canceled <laughs> due to the writer's strike like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. But it was, it's about like this guy. It's like imagine like this 1920s detective show mm -hmm. but in the most colorful bedtime story fashion imaginable <laughs> it's about this guy who bakes pies and he touches dead people and they can come back to life for a minute. <laughs> and oh he uses that gosh. to solve their murder so he goes to the morgue touches touches someone who got murdered and asks him who killed them and then solves their murder <laughs> oh and there's always gosh. some crazy complication it is the most colorful ridiculous show wow I've never heard of that, but now that you said that, I have to look it up because that just sounds yeah. wild. Yeah, Friday Night Lights, Pushing Daisies, and uh, Parks and Rec. For oh, okay, yeah, that show is funny. I just saw a clip from that uh, on Instagram with somebody else. I was like, "Bro, what is this crazy show?" And he was just like, "It's on Netflix." I was like, "Okay, I'll check it out." <laughs> yeah, and I, I was so excited too because they had a new episode because mm -hmm. the coronavirus, like years after the whole show ended. Yeah. How do you like, do you like uh, Rick and Morty or anything like that or what? I've watched the first few, I haven't watched this last season, okay. but I got H, I, I have HBO, so apparently mm -hmm. it's supposed to auto-upgrade to HBO Max, which oh, like, okay. is supposed nice. to be on, so I look forward to binging that, that new season soon. Yeah, I love, overall it's pretty good. They gave us like five episodes and now they're giving us the other five episodes, so it's just, it's That's hilarious. not even that many. Hmm? I, feel like, I feel like I thought there was a lot more to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't it's like i guess because it's so hard to make them they're just like no we're not doing any more <laughs> what's your thoughts on like the like the quarantine do you think people are going to be running back to parks or do you think like it's going to be a slowly like build i don't know i think i i i think it depends on when they open mm -hmm. and where they are um yeah but yeah i honestly don't know yeah. I think I think it'll be a slow build, and I don't know how the levels are going to be like between the reservation systems of the parks mm -hmm. with their limited capacity and the demand. Yeah. Um, just because obviously all the enthusiasts will be out there all the time, mm -hmm. but regular people I think are going to exhibit more, more caution. Right. I think we're going to see like 
like you said, the enthusiasts are going to be there, but it's like, how many enthusiasts are there really? Because we don't really make a huge percentage of the popular or of like the business for parks. It really is like guests and whatnot. So, right. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, I have no clue, <laughs> but I mean, I hope, I hope people stay safe, but I hope yeah. they all stay safe at the parks and give them enough money to, to right. continue on. Have you ever ridden a single rail yet or what? A single rail, like yeah. rail blazer? Mm-hmm. Yes, I've ridden a rail blazer. Oh. My only one. <laughs> what, was your, what was your experience on it? What did you think of it? I was, so I'd, I'd ridden a lot of RMCs before mm-hmm. I rode trailblazer and it still shocked me wow <laughs> like and the, i think i think i'm the perfect height for those yeah. restraints to be comfortable mm-hmm. um they were much more comfortable to me than like the new bnm vest restraints on diet yeah hate those re- yeah i was gonna say i can't there's certain vest restraints like you said like i think it really does just depend on your height like if they made it for like that height or i guess if the test dummy or whatever was that height like yeah and you were that height, then it's perfect. But other than that, you're like, it's either a great or horrible experience. So yeah, but no. So for me, Railblazer was amazing, and mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't think I would like it if it had lap bars because it would just be painful. Oh wow! Because at least the vests like have some give to them. Yeah. Because that that airtime is just <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> like I was like, how on earth is this even legal? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch a uh, off ride video of like the. Uh, of Wonder Woman or something. I'm just like, it's just hauling, but it's only like 50 something miles. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like every turn, like just, <laughs> if it looks like it has airtime, it definitely has airtime. Oh time. my gosh. It's, what uh, are you, are you excited for like, I know you got to be excited for, uh, what is it? Jersey Devil. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Like, do you definitely. think it'll <laughs> still be? I think it'll still be, I mean, just like Railblazer was so extreme mm-hmm. to me that even if, even if, Jersey Devil is like half that, you right? Know, half as tame as yeah. And so, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all, and I'm excited mm-hmm. for the, the maybe pseudo clone going to Magic Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm really excited. Like, there's so many rides that are supposed to open this year, and I mean, they're still gonna obviously open. It's just like now we just kind of are just waiting. Like, man, hurry up and open. But at the same time, it's like you want to keep everyone safe and whatnot. So it's like just trying to figure out. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. All right. So, is there anything else that you really want to focus on your channel, or like besides like building the coasters, or what? Uh. Yes. <laughs> so, so if you notice, my, my channel name is Coaster Rider. Mm-hmm. I've done a lot of the coaster stuff. I haven't really put any of the writing stuff on the channel. Too oh, okay. Yet. Um, so I do. I go to writers group. Well, before COVID, I would go to mm-hmm. writers group every week. Oh, wow. Um, I do enjoy writing and telling. Obviously, like the storytelling aspect kind of mm-hmm. makes its way into the roller coasters. Yeah. Um, but I, if in the future, if if that I plan to make that a much mm-hmm. bigger part of the roller coaster so yeah sneak preview <laughs> if, anyone, <laughs> if anyone follows all my roller coaster stuff uh so one of my big plans right now is i'm writing a novel but oh, wow. I'm, I'm building I, i'm planning a roller coaster after this one's done my next <laughs> huge project is going to be a a roller coaster and a water ride an what? and it's going to be themed to the climax mm-hmm. of the book that i'm writing right now oh my gosh so, <laughs> so when <laughs> that is up to that, crazy. i'll be having videos about the book the cool That's stuff smart, i learned while i was researching for it but then also all the fun stuff going into the building of it. So, Man. so that's how all the stuff on the channel. You're trying to make like a whole documentary <laughs> that goes into the course. <laughs> wow. Have you written Dota Don't Buy yet or what? Yes. Yes. Oh, it was man. Movie. It was, yeah, the launch was awesome. Mm-hmm. Even, even the turn. I love the turn because you just feel so free because it's so, <laughs> I love roller coasters. You're just so open. You're just like, the, the shit. <laughs> this is way way more than any normal park even, even like a normal cedar fair park you're just out like on it with the background of the mountain oh my um, goodness but i absolutely hate that that loop the entrance to the loop oh yeah <laughs> hurt me so bad <laughs> but that didn't i wrote it like four or five times wow I, I pro- i've probably spent more money at fuji q than i have at any other theme park oh my, my goodness just because when you go everyone tells you oh the lines are going to be terrible the, the cast is terrible <laughs> So I went first thing, 
and bought like all the fast passes I could <laughs> just because I knew it was going to be like my only time. Yeah. And I didn't want something to close. Right. And not be able to ride it. <laughs> so oh my God. And then the lines weren't even that bad. <laughs> so I have all these fast passes. I just kept over and over and over. So, the one yeah. time you're like, oh, I'm playing the head. <laughs> and then that happens. <laughs> no, I mean, I was glad I got the fast passes. So, because I got, I got my fill of Agent IQ. Right. Da, 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 but. Did you, did you ride Hakuki? I think that's how you yes, say it. Yes, I yeah. Hakuki. What was that like? Uh, it was it was good. I, I really liked so So I've only ridden Steel Vengeance once. Because a lot oh, of okay. three hours when I went. And I, I, I liked Hakuge more than Steel mm-hmm. Vengeance. But I got to ride Hakuge like ten times. Oh, so, dang. So that, that <laughs> probably made the difference. But no, I, and I love, I, I don't know what it is about like that white structure. Yeah. It's like makes it feel different than other mm-hmm. wooden coasters. And then, and then, like, so I think one of the biggest differences to me from between Steel Vengeance and Hakuge is that Hakuge, you feel the openness of it more. Yeah. So I feel like Steel Vengeance sense. is built into itself. Yeah. And like, Hakuge you know, that, is like, just a wide layout, like, yeah, RMC. that wave turn on Steel mm-hmm. Vengeance goes in. Yeah. The wave turn on Hakuge goes that's out. That's true. So you're looking out at the rest of the park. And I feel like that's <laughs> that's the biggest difference that I felt between the two. Oh my gosh! So yeah, How many I've RMCs been, have you ridden, by the way? Uh, I've ridden I've ridden most of them. I, I've been so yeah. The other <laughs> my, <laughs> I've ridden most of the ones in America. I haven't been a te- mm-hmm. I haven't been on any of the Texas ones, and I haven't been on Goliath. Okay. What about have you done Wildflower? No, and I haven't okay. been on Wildflower. Okay. So that's so I think those are the ones I or or what's what's what about the, Untamed? No, yeah, that's the other okay, one. I'm okay, okay. But I have done Medusa Steel Coaster. Oh, nice, man! <laughs> All right, <laughs> I didn't want to take too much of your time. So, where can they follow you at on social media? Uh, social media: Instagram, Coaster Rider, Twitter. I think it's Coaster Rider with the one because somebody else took that <laughs> username. YouTube Coaster Rider as well. Um, I, I usually focus most of my efforts on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, but occasionally I'll post something on, on Instagram and Twitter as well. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for being on. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, enable post notifications to stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. And until next time, you guys, peace out.